What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. This is a brand new series. We're going to be doing the heavyweight division. We did the poll on Twitter and the heavyweight division absolutely destroyed it. So this is what we're going to be doing. We have a beautiful specimen here known as Mark Baker. We've stepped away from the Chow family to usher in a new era of knockout fighters. And here he is, Mark Baker in all his glory. He's got some really, really dense cheekbones. So if he gets punched in him, he's probably going to break the opponent's hand. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this. We're going to see his journey throughout his MMA career. We are in the heavyweight division, so there is so many good fighters in that division, like Francis Ngannou, Alistair Overeem, Stipe Miotic, Derek Lewis, Mark Hunt. There was just so many, so, so many good fighters in that division. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the next series after Leslie Chow retired. She retired on a knockout from uh, uh, Valentina Shevchenko, actually finished her in the last fight. And uh, she went on to retire. She sailed off into the sunset. I think she ended her career like 35-2 and two or something like that. Incredible record. Let's see if Mark Baker can be the UFC heavyweight world champion. And let's see if he can get down to uh, the, the light heavyweight division, I believe it is. And see if he can fight Daniel Cormier for the light heavyweight strap. And there's other contenders down there like John Jones and stuff. So we are going to start heavyweight anyway. Thank you guys so much for your support on the previous series. We've done lightweight with King Chow. We've done women's bantamweight and women's... Um, Strawweight with Leslie Chow, and now we are doing heavyweight with Mark Baker. Let's see him on his journey as he joins the WFA and gets up the ranks in the UFC. Let's go. So he is an absolute beautiful specimen, as you can see here. I may have messed up his face quite a bit, but I thought that was kind of funny. I just wanted to see if the UFC would let this ugly monstrosity of a face be in their promotional guides or be in their promotional videos and their posters and stuff. Let's see how this goes. Um, I would not put that face on a poster, but here we go. Let's dive straight in. Let's see how Mark Baker can do in his career. I'm very, very excited for this. We are going to be watching a legend unfold, hopefully. Like the last two fighters, where they both got to the greatest of all time, which was very, very good. Now, I don't know if Mark Baker is going to be able to do the same, um, but I, I have a good feeling about this. Obviously, being in the heavyweight division, uh, there are a lot of knockout artists and a lot of stand-up fighters. There are only a few wrestlers in the heavyweight division, it's so it should be kind of good for us. Baseball play football or play basketball you don't play fighting to put yourself on the line against an opponent trained to defeat you is not something for the weak-minded because while mastering all combat sports disciplines is necessary to compete to succeed a fighter must have the heart and determination to walk I can't through wait fire for this. in search of victory let's do this tonight the journey begins <laughs> Far from the bright lights of Las Vegas God, or New York stunning. City. But as the saying goes, when the octagon door shuts, a fight's a fight. A fight is definitely a fight. The minor leagues, World Fighting Alliance. This is where Mark Baker is going to make his mark on his career to start off with. Here he is. Can he get signed into the UFC? This is the big question. As we see him entering the octagon, look at that face. Look at it. Ricky Vandenberg, he's 18. They, they're the same height, and uh, Mark, I think Mark's got a little bit more reach over him. But here he is here in all his glory. Let's see him get the job done early on. Mark Baker, knockout artist, an extreme beautiful specimen. Let's go, Mark. Let's get throwing bombs. He's like, hell to the no. What's that shit? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, being in the WFA, they don't really throw. Oh, Mark's put him down already. What a beast this man can be. He's been fighting all his life for a face like that. Imagine the bullies in school. God damn. Tried to body kick, missed. Okay, he hasn't got much reach though, so we're going to have to be a very close inside fighter. Okay, this bloke's blocking well. He's not blocking that though. I'm going to block them legs, bro. Okay. He's not really... Mark's just laying into him here. Good leg kick there. Make this a fight. A good uppercut. Oh, good hook as well. Nice. Everything we throw at him is just not working, bro. You better block better than that, boy. Why's Mark not throwing uppercuts? Oh, there we go. God damn. He is a bloodied mess. And Mark the Beast Baker loves it. That's just how he wants his fights to go. Good body kick there. Throwing in some leg kicks as well. Obviously, starting again, it feels really weird because we had a maxed pro in the last one with Leslie Chow. 
Dude, this dude is just eating punches. Is he going to fight? I don't think he wants to continue, ref. Okay, we're just waiting for him. You know what? Fuck this. Good uppercut. Boom, 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 boom. He's down again. Nearly jumped all over him there, but I've got to keep, I've got to keep patient. Oh, the head kick there. That would have stung. That one did. He hasn't got much power, Mark. I don't know why. You think the size of the beast? You think he would have? He's not as nimble on his feet either, so he's unable to close gaps efficiently, I guess. Oh, good body kick, bro. Boom, boom. This bloke's a bloodied mess. Boom, boom, boom. Let's finish this damn fight. God damn, this dude. He has just been mauled this fight. Oh my god. Oh, that hurt. He's out. Mark Baker closes the show. I don't think the dude really, really, really hit us, to be honest. But Mark Baker there, proving his point that he is as much as a beast as everyone says and thinks he is just by the look of his face. But there you go. First round knockout there. We pounded that dude's face in. And uh, we actually split him open as well, which is... Kind of new, as we can see there, winner by knockout, Mark Baker. There we go. I don't think he can really see. I think he's relying on echolocation, kind of like a clicker on The Last of Us. But there we go. We landed 108 strikes, and we didn't manage to finish him. God damn. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep improving. We have another fight here in the WFA. So, like I said, this is the heavyweight career mode. Hopefully, we can do some good stuff in this one. Our, uh, our Twitter is called Big Beast. Uh, Big Beast got those hands. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's get in the UFC. Let's kick some butt in there. And uh, let's keep going. Very, very, very excited for this. Uh, the brand new series. I'm just hoping we can get him to be a little bit quicker. He, th he seems really slow and sluggish at the minute. I don't know. It's just because I've come from playing a women's career mode where they are very light on their feet. I played the lightweight career mode where they was kind of light on their feet. And now we're playing a big beast of a heavyweight. So, Mark Baker, let's get in there. Let's train you up, buddy. I don't know if we're going to train. Uh... Let's, let's have a look. We've got Pip Shaw, who is 5-2. We have Keenan Castillo, who is 5-2 and two as well. And we have Austin Cotton, who is 5-4. and four. So we're going to go for Pip Shaw then. Battle with the beards, this is going to be. Let's, uh, let's get in there and throw some bombs. Let's do this. Okay, right. So we have to do all the knockouts and the submissions and stuff. I guess that's when we reach the UFC. But, um, we're just going to... we we'll purchase a gym here. A wrestling gym. Francis Ngannou is the top level of a wrestling gym. Is that some kind of joke? Francis Ngannou does not have wrestling. That's a, I think that's kind of a meme, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's train up our wrestling then, I guess. Um, so here we go. Just the basic stuff here, as we all know and love. I have missed the UFC. Obviously, I finished the career mode and stuff for the lightweight. Uh, the lightweight, the the other one. The women's bantamweight and the women's strawweight. And uh, I've really missed the UFC. Uh, career mode stuff and uh, I'm trying to keep it flowing. I'm trying to keep it regular and uh, It's just exciting. I'm really really enjoying it That's why it's probably one of my most fun series on the channel and uh, that's why we're doing so many weight classes This is the third weight class we've done in on the channel. So I think we're gonna spar We're gonna spar. We're gonna spar against this dude um, Expect takedowns we can we, we can we can go to the ground Mark Baker puts that weight on you dude. You're gonna know about it. Bro, it looks like we're training against him. What the fuck? Is this him? Okay, great start. Boom, boom. Right, come on. No one kicks the baker like that. God damn. Mark Baker, you suck. Let's keep going. Hell to the no, what was that? This guy. Oh, dude, we're getting banged. Okay. Okay, stuff that. Nice. There we go. Alright, pop back up. Pop back up. Let's go. Nice right, move. Ow. Dude, I'm worried about this dude. Okay. At least we're near enough fit. Jesus, dude. 
I kind of want to restart this just because he knocked me down. And that is going to take off some longevity. Obviously, we don't really want that. Uh, we don't really want him losing the longevity this early in his career anyway. I don't worry about it later in the career when we've accomplished stuff. But at the minute, we haven't exactly accomplished a lot. We have only beat one dude. Oh, there we go. That's the Mark Baker we know and love. Stuff that takedown. There we go. That's what we want. Boom. Boom. Good hook. There we go. Focus. Focus. Boom. Boom. Oh, not the clinch. Okay, we're quite good in the clinch. Body kicks. We can eat that all day, bro. There we go. Is his reach that's the problem? I'm used to playing with characters that have quite long reach. Okay, get that over under clinch in. Break that clinch. There we go. Switch stances. There we go. He's a beast, bro. Look at that. When he drops that hand, clear the damn room. Get up. Boom. Boom. Dropping bombs all day. Mark Baker. That was a bit of a better sparring session, I'd say, than the first one. We actually managed to drop him a few times. Now, I don't want the longevity dropping too much. We're going to return to the calendar anyway. The sparring is done. We are fit. We are ready for this fight. Um, this is the second fight in his career. Fingers crossed it all goes uh, according to plan. Uh, we're just going to increase what we can. Really, I'd like the strike speed up. Um, maybe some power. Is there power on here? Uh, let's just do it all. I mean, we need to increase it anyway. I think we have one more week of training before we get into the fight, so should be all good. We have one more week. We are on 98 peak fitness, so we are pretty good in that respect. We've got some power here. That's what I want to be training. Getting all that grappling up as well. Submission defense. Fingers crossed he's not going to take us to the ground because we have 57 submission defense, and that is very, very scary. Hopefully, we can just smoke this bitch on his feet and move on to the next one. Mark Baker looking like an absolute creature. But, um, yeah, this should be pretty good. Let's do this. Let's get in there and throw bombs. Very, very excited about this. Maybe um, I'll work in some elbows and some knees and some other moves. Maybe I can make him a submission specialist later down the line. We haven't actually made a submission in a career mode yet. Now, that could be kind of interesting later down the line, especially if we're getting taken down. Uh, we can maybe get him in a sub or something like that. That could be very, very cool and uh, very, very interesting. But Mark Baker, here we go. Second fight of his World Fighting Alliance career. Here he is in here. Let's see how he gets on. Mark Baker. Look at him. What a beast. We are fighting Pip Shaw. He's 25. And uh, anyway, we're just going to skip all this. We're going to get into it. The thing you want to see the most is the war we are about to undergo. Let's go, Pip. What you got? What you got, Pip? Nothing. No one knows what to do when that fucking Baker gets on him. Boom, boom. His real name, his real name isn't even Baker. It's just because he eats a lot of pies from the bakery. Oh, we're down. Okay. Okay. I don't mind being on the ground. I don't mind being on the ground, especially when we are a like 200 odd pound beast. Boom, 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 boom. Trying to sweep in that left hook, but now Leslie Chow was quite a, pa um, a power puncher. She was like a counter puncher, but Mark Baker is very much the aggressor. Same as uh, King Chow was in that lightweight career mode. Uh, he's very much the aggressor. So we are going to be pushing. Well, we put him down once already. So we're going to be coming forward, moving our head. A bit like Mike Tyson. Okay. We have an answer for them takedowns. We stuffed one. Okay. I'm not confident about this career so far. Laying into him. It's the reach. It's really the reach is really bothering me because we're having to get inside quite a bit. Good slip of the punch there by Baker. Okay, he's he's hurt. Okay, boom, boom. I thought we stuffed that. We did nice. Let's jump back up. Let's keep going. It's really the reach that's kind of an issue. Boom, boom. I feel like once we get a bit more power, a bit more speed and things, it will be a little bit easier. He's taking us down again. Oh, dude, I'm scared. Okay, right, let's go. Let's keep moving. we got little T-Rex arms, bro. Okay. Get down. 
bitch. Pounded him out on the ground. Mark Baker with the second win of his career. I'm going to go to the ground a little bit more in this career mode. And when they go down, I'm actually going to keep him now. I'm not looking to sleep anybody. I'm looking to end the fight whenever I can. Mark Baker makes his professional career 2-0 in the World Fighting Alliance. As we can see there, I think it was an uppercut that dropped him. And then we weighed in after and beat his ass on the ground. Boom. 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 Mark the Beast Baker advances to 2-0. and and this fight could get him in the uh, in the UFC, this next fight. Dana White's going to come knocking. And fingers crossed, Mark Baker will perform. So there we go. We absolutely butchered him. We are aiming to get to uh, to get to the thingy. Win your next two fights by stoppage in the first round. Wait, we, we, we kind of did that. But okay, okay. I'm, I'm not complaining. Let's just keep going. we got another fight in the World Fighting Alliance. When Big Beast gets those hands moving, clear the damn octagon. You only saw it going back. I mean, he kind of did, I suppose. But we uh, we whooped some ass there. We're ready for the UFC. Hopefully, we don't get our ass beat too much in this next uh, in this next fight. Mark Baker is proving to be a little bit of a force. He's kind of difficult to fight with. I really need to train up that head movement before we uh, focus on anything else. I'd really like to get our grappling and our wrestling up as well. Obviously, being a striker, you always have the advantage of the feet. But here we go. We have Austin Cotton. Here's the next uh, opponent they're going to put in front of us for the beast to eat. Let's go. Mark Baker, do your worst, buddy. Let's go and fuck him up. He's only he's 5-4. and four. He's nearly got the same amount of losses that he has wins. So, I, I don't know. Is this going to be... I don't know. Let's just, let's just train in our jiu-jitsu gym. Let's get down here and let's fuck some shit up. Let's go. Well, let's go. Okay, Todd Green. Hey, Big Beast. You've been killing it in WFA. Dana White will be scouting talent on the next looking for a fight show at your next fight. Put on a show, kid. This could be your ticket into the UFC. Uh, or actually, I'll, I'll do my absolute best to impress Mark Baker there. Um, tweeting back. So, let's go. What are we going to increase? We've got top game. I want power. I want him to be an absolute killer uh, on his feet. I want him to... He's not going to fear no man. No man at all. Um... I mean, look at him. He's a, he's a beast. Uh, strike speed, accuracy, strike stamina. I want him to have quite a bit of stamina. Um, some takedown uh, is quite good as well. So I think maybe we're not even going to spar for this camp. I think we're just going to try and increase our attributes as much as possible. We still have quite a lot of weeks to get to that fitness. So I think that could be quite a good idea. We're going to increase that power a lot though. I would like to increase some grappling as well. But really, for now, I just want to get his striking up so I'm able to like, butcher him on the feet. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I don't know if we're going to reach top fitness in this. We are only 86. We need 10 more to get to uh, the peak fitness. So we have two weeks to do so, though. So we are we are pretty good. Let's go for power again, some endurance, some grapple stamina. Let's go. What else have we got here? Submission defense we could do. Strike speed, head movement I want to increase. That is a good one. 89. There we go. We're getting up. We're getting up there very, very slowly. Increasing that power. I want him to have so much power... Starting off, that is what I want the most of. Okay, takedown. We're not really going to be looking for takedowns anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. So the final week before the fight, let's go. We need to increase this quite a bit. So 80 power already. We have just gone over to the peak fitness side of things, so that is all good. We're going to increase that again, and then I think we're going to go for some more striking stuff down here. Some speed, some accuracy, some head movement, and there we go. That should be it. I think that is all good for now. We'll go for that last bit there and then let's get into the fight mark baker ready for his next battle uh, and hopefully if he wins this he's in the ufc so this is what we want matt sarah hey kid good luck in your fight make sure to put on the show for the looking for a fight crew i will try my hardest we're gonna go in there and absolutely destroy this fucker hopefully anyway he's five and four let's make him five and five let's just even it up a little bit for him and uh, maybe he doesn't destroy his face even more i mean mark mark baker is an absolute specimen of a human being if you punch his cheekbones, you will break your hands. It's like punching glass. Have you seen that dude's cheekbones? Jesus Christ. He is a absolute specimen. But uh, yeah, this should be kind of interesting anyway, just to see how he gets on. Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, I'm UFC President Dana White. And we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. Boom, look at that. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. 
Okay. So, that's kind of like the intro bit. The and obviously, he's looking for us. Tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. Oh, he does. He wants his shot. He and he's hopefully going to get it. Here he is there. Little T-Rex Mark Baker. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's get it. Let's throw some hands, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Starting things off with some aggression. He's cut again, dude. He just cuts people for fun. Oh, he's down again. Head kick. Oh, hello. He's out. He's out. We could have finished it there. I think we're going to put on a bit of a show for Dana, though. Bro's not even throwing. There we go. Okay, Mark, what are you doing, buddy? Leg kick, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. He's down again. Get up. We're sleeping, you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's just uh, back off. Oh, coming in. Let's finish it. There we go. Mark Baker with a first round finish. Welcome to the UFC, big dude. There we go. If anyone deserves it, it is this man here. Absolute killer in the cage. Look at him. What a beautiful specimen that man is. Put him down. Did we put him down with a head kick? I don't even remember. I know we dived all over him and then ate him alive on the ground. But there we go. Mark Baker has joined the UFC. There we go. Look at him. What a beautiful man that man is. And I can't wait to see him throw bombs in the UFC. What a specimen of a fighter that dude is. There we go. 99.1. We did do all our contract goals as well. And now we should join that the kid UFC. Has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. We're going to do this. We're going to give him a shot in the UFC. Hell yeah. Thank you, Mr. Dana White. There we go. We have joined the best promotion in the world for MMA. Here we go. Congrats, Big Beast. Can't wait to see you in the UFC. Big Beast wins. Hashtag fight. There we go. Who are they going to give us first in the UFC? I'm going to let you guys decide. Uh, usually they give us free fights offers, and obviously you guys will decide them. But here we go. Austin Cotton. Hey, Big Beast. I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon. Hashtag got lucky. Uh, your name doesn't look familiar. Who are you again? God damn. The Big Beast is throwing out some insults already. So we've got a rookie. Here, 15 grand for a show and a extra 10 grand if we win. Win all fights by stoppage. That's that's easy, dude. You're you're asking this beautiful man to stop people in their tracks. That's just so easy. He, look at his face. All he's got to do is look at them and they turn to stone. So here we go. Who is the first fight going to be? We are three and zero. Austin Cotton is five and five, and he got signed to the UFC. That is bullshit. Okay. Anyway, without further ado. Let's see who they're going to give us in our first UFC fight. Obviously, we won't be doing it in this video, but I'll always let you guys decide. We have Michael Torres there, who is 6-4 in the UFC. We have Laphi, Laphi, uh, who was 6-4 as well. Was the last dude 6-4? He was. Um, and he, yeah, he's 6-4 as well. And we have 3-1 and, and Adric Pavlov. So these are the three fighters. If you guys want to see what won, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are going to end it here. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like button, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.